everybody gets life from River Mpanga, especially in this region. So it's very important to partner with everybody to come on board and be able to understand why we should protect River Mpanga and be able to use it for our life here. This is uh, the only river that is in this area where everyone is feeding on. So River Mpanga is very important, not only in this community, but in the entire district and in the region. Our old grandfathers said this river should be protected. For them, they protected it. It is us, the, the grandchildren, that are destroying it. This Banga water is good in our lives because it is the only river we have here and if we can spoil it, we, that means that we are spoiling our lives. I use it as a person by washing clothes for my children, by cooking and uh, even giving to my animals for, to drink and even myself. It was common for people to use the river for washing, we were bathing and then the stone quarrying. We have not been doing much on protecting the vampire until when we got the capacity from Hewasa to advocate for the management of Rimambang and the restoration of Rimambang. Uh, the kind of approach that we do is basically to lobby and advocate. We engage with the leaders, we engage with the local authorities, and then we empower the local communities. The first thing was to create awareness. Then we also went ahead and developed what we call a catchment mm. management plan. The plan identifies hotspot areas and also identifies the required interventions that are supposed to be carried out. These interventions, they are clearly well thought because they were stakeholder-driven catchment management planning. Our rivers here, and also we have uh, managed to work with the leaders. Uh, they've managed to put up uh, bylaws, and the bylaws have stopped stone querying along the river banks. The first dialogue meeting that we had, even the LOC1 did not understand what we were talking about. They rioted, they said, no, these policies are not good. Partners working on with Wampanga. Chances of sustaining our When they came out of the river, they started, started saying, we have not got anything. We no longer get money. And even themselves are reaching to me, asking, Chairman, you sent us out of the river. What alternative do you have for us? Do you want us to not educate our children? Do you want our families to die poor? Meaning that even the chairman, myself, I'm on dilemma. So the, one of the recommendations from the dialogue meeting has been like, we should have income generating projects for them to continue having their daily income. Today, I've not had any negative aspect about the protection of river Park. You are seeing here, we have not used any, any force, either shooting or what, no. People have voluntarily gone out of the river, Mpanga. So those who are working there, crack, cracking stones, getting the sand, we are sensitized them. And as I speak now, they have moved away from the river. They are looking for stones elsewhere. Mm -hmm.
One moment that really makes me very proud and excited is seeing the community members themselves, the households who expected much more money from the eucalyptus trees at that point to be cut. I mean, they just got their pangas themselves and went to the field and started cutting the trees just because they wanted to save the river panga. Another thing that we've done is planting trees, environmental friendly trees upstream. Eucalyptus trees dry the, the land and we have our indigenous trees, so those are the trees that we need. So in the, in the 100 meters that we have agreed, we agreed that 30 should be not touchable. So we plant all our indigenous trees along the 30 meters from the river. Uh, for watershed program, the remaining challenges are waste management. Along the river, there are a lot of markets. So all the garbage, all the waste is thrown into the river. The waste that is uh, d deposited into this river actually gets, gets stuck at different points of the river where the vegetation is kind of thick. So what happens is that uh, they disrupt the ecosystem. Our partners mobilized the community members. They came out here, cleared the entire river of the plastics that were stuck in there, and then also made clear, as you can see behind the river bank, and uh, the waste is collected and taken to the dumping site in Kiteri. Some of these plastics, which you can see, which are dirty, they were collected from River Mpanga. They were just brought two days ago from River Mpanga, and now they are here. Uh, you know, the moment they consume contaminated water, then they are likely to get diseases, typhoid, cholera, and others, which could re come up as a result of poor hygiene and sanitation. So we need to go through the whole stream of River Mpanga to achieve our results. It shouldn't only be on the upper stream, but should also go on the lower stream and along the river. So the community will benefit, will benefit getting good water and the river Mpanga will be protected from being polluted. So that's the balance actually that we, where we are moving. Working together brings the development because if someone is using this water nicely, find that uh, the, the, the well-being of the community is well managed. You know we have uh, coexistence. When I'm, I'm surviving, I must survive on the other person who is in another place. So it means that uh, I should put in my inputs my intervention to ensure that the water remains as it is. It, support, it should support me for my domestic and agriculture and other communities as well. We work together, protect our river and bank safely. Because when you protect the water, that means that even life is protected. <laughs>